I went to the flea market today and I did a flea market finds video a couple of weeks ago and I figured I'd just share what I found again. But this is not just a flea market. This is marketplace and flea market. And this is what I found within the last couple of weeks. I didn't do too well at the flea market today. Um, there was a lot of people and I was very hopeful, but there just wasn't a whole lot of tools. And, and the stuff that was cool, people were asking just way too much money for it. And I couldn't talk anybody down, but I did find a few things. So uh, let's get started. So here's the first one I found. And I showed this in my flea market finds a couple of weeks ago, but it was this one that I had found. And I've since put super lube grease in it. But this one here actually still has grease in it and uh, for wheel bearing grease. So that was a cool find and this is in really, really nice condition. And top says Kelvin, ask about our charge card. And look at that, 79 cents for this can of grease. Super cool. Next was this S-Twing hammer. I get some camera here. And it's got the nail puller. Face is a little beat up. Look, it looks like it was the waffle face, but that's since been uh, pretty uh, well used. But definitely get this cleaned up. Oops. Sorry about moving the camera there. Look at that cool nail puller. And the handle is a uh, greenish color now. This will clean up very nicely. It was a very cool find. Next is this channel lock number 337. Looks like it was barely used. Very nice condition here. Handles are in great shape. Comes together very nicely. That was a cool find. Found another Aviator Tin Snips. This is a Wiss M1, it looks like. Decent condition. Um, I do see there's a bit of a gap. I don't know if that's by design or if it's damaged. I haven't used it. It's very stiff. It doesn't work too great yet, but I would like to get this all torn down and cleaned up. I don't really use these all that often, but I just thought it was a cool find. This one here. Diamond a 12 inch adjustable wrench. Diamond Caulk and Horseshoe Company, Duluth, Minnesota, which I've mentioned before, that's actually where I'm from. And this one is frozen, um, but should be easy enough to get apart. This is not damaged. Sometimes these screws are stripped or you can't take those out, but I should be able to get that out and get this cleaned up. Very nice condition here. A little bit of rust, not too bad. Very happy with that. And then I found this channel lock. Number 460. I think these are called water pump players. Is that what these are called? I think I can never remember. A little bit of pitting, but it worked very well. Very nice. Opens and closes nicely. Teeth are in really nice shape. A little bit worn down here, but not too bad. That was a cool find. 
the guy that sold this to me at the flea market, he also had a bunch of uh, diamond caulk uh, wrenches and some were just like in brand new condition and he wanted 50 to $75 and I just couldn't justify that. But um, I was very happy with that channel lock. And then this here, this ratchet I found, um, I don't see any name on here. I just thought it looked really cool. I don't know if this hanging hole is original to the ratchet. It looks a little bit like it was done homemade. I can't quite tell. And I don't see any name on here. The only thing I see is number 3202R. I haven't looked this up at all yet, so I have to do a little bit of research. But I thought it was cool. A little stiff. But should be able to get that cleaned up. I just love working on ratchets. I just think that they're really cool. A little oil port here. So I saw this in a bin for a dollar. So couldn't pass it up. I thought it was pretty cool. So this is something that I found last week. This is a Paramo vise. And I'm just mounting it here temporarily just to give it a little bit of a test drive. It's uh, three inch jaws. And definitely needs to be cleaned up. I gave it some oil, but it's still pretty stiff. This is the uh, second Paramo vise that I've ever owned. I once owned a six inch one, which was huge. This is a uh, three inch. And I do have these stickers here. I actually bought these off of eBay. I'd like to get this cleaned up and put that sticker on there. And I do have the base for it as well. But, um, this was not attached when I bought it, so I just mounted it here today real quick. I'll take you on the other side quick. Very cool little vise. It's very solid. I love that high-duty vise, the V-I-C-E. Number one, three-inch jaws. At least I think it's three-inch jaws. Double check. Yeah, three-inch jaws. So cool little vise. Found that last week. Very happy with that. Can't wait to get that cleaned up. All right, so that was all my finds for the last uh, seven to eight days or so. Super happy with what I got. My favorite is probably, again, the Valvoline can just because it's in such great shape. And it's got some usable grease in there. And I like that it still has the old price tag on it. And then for some reason, it's this ratchet. I just, I don't know why. I just love it. I just like the way it looks. I think it's super cool. Got to do some research on this number 3202R, but um, I get that figured out. So, very, very happy with everything. And I think my first project will probably be the ratchet and then probably move on to the vise. So, uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please come back for the next project.